Hi, I'm Simon from Ridge Monkey, and today we are gonna be making a fantastic little play on a chili con carne. We're gonna be using some meatballs instead of mince. We've got a ready-made chili con carne sauce. Uh, we've got some black beans. You could use kidney beans if you prefer. A Little bit of coriander, some ready-cooked in the sachet rice, and some of these little stand and stuff shells. So without ado, let me crack on and I'll show you how to make it. So the first thing that we want to do, I've turned on this one pan. I haven't turned on both of them just yet. We've just got the main pan. We're going to put some oil into there. And we are going to turn that up ever so slightly. We just want, here we go. So that's turned up. We're just going to wait for that pan to start shimmering the oil in there. We get the little bit of a heat haze coming off it and then you know that it's okay. We can start adding our meatballs into there. If you do it too soon, when the pan's cold, the oil's cold, that meat's not gonna start cooking as soon as it hits the pan. It's just gonna sit there really, not doing a great deal. You're not gonna get the best caramelization on them. There we go, so we can see that smoke coming off the oil now, the heat coming from the pan. So what we're gonna do is just simply add in our meatballs. Right guys, so these meatballs are now really, you know, they're half cooked. They're really starting to crisp up and color on the outside, which is what you want. So we just keep turning them, keep moving them into the pan, but they're about there. So next we are gonna add, I've got a little tin here of black beans. As I said, you could use kidney beans, you could use haricot beans, uh, whatever your preference is. So we're gonna add those to the pan. Now I've drained off most of the water in there, but I have actually left a little bit. What that's gonna do, it's just gonna create that little bit of steam just to help finish cooking off those meatballs before we add in our chili con carne sauce. Right, so the little bit of water that we left in there, now that's evaporated. There's only a tiniest bit left at the bottom. So now it's time to add the sauce. So I'll just pick this ready-made sauce up from the local uh, supermarket. And we'll just get that into there over the top. So the next little bit that we're gonna do now, we're gonna use this secondary pan here. So I'm just gonna turn that on. There we go. Right, and to that, we're gonna add a small amount of water. Now we don't need a lot of water in there. I just wanna create a bit of steam. There you go, so that small amount of water. And through heating that, that is for this rice. Now these are microwave packets of rice. Generally, you open the top, put it in a microwave, two minutes later, it's nice and hot. These are pasteurized, they're ready cooked, they're really safe to carry with you on the bank. But all you do need to do is have them in a little bit of steam in the water. So that there, we're gonna bring that to a simmer. We're gonna add this rice straight in and then stir it through. And that is gonna help to cook the rice because obviously we don't have a microwave to plug it into a tree. Right, so we are gonna serve these, not like a traditional chili. I want these as a sort of grab and go, so we're gonna be able to pick them up and eat them quickly. You know, if there's a group here fishing, these make a fantastic little lunch. So I've got these old El Paso stand and stuff shells. Now they're already shaped. So all we're gonna do is just get these and put some, there's eight in a pack. Now that rice is cooking through there. But the one thing that I find with this rice, it can be a little bit plain. So what we've got here, is the seasoning that I always carry. Some sea salt, some black pepper, and some garlic. So we are just going to season this up. Put some black pepper. Finally, a touch of salt. And there we have it. Just get that mixed through. Everything there is now cooked. All of that water in the bottom that we put in has evaporated through the steam into the rice. So that's cooked nicely. The meatballs are cooked. So let's turn this off and get plated. So you see, we're just putting a couple of spoons of rice into the bottom of each shell. Now there should be enough rice there to fill all eight of these shells. So uh, don't overfill them. We've got that. And then the pack of meatballs that we got was 24. So that's three meatballs per shell. So we can just get those divided into there. One, two, and three. Simple like that, just a little bit of garnish. I've got some fresh coriander. I love the flavor of coriander. It goes really, really well with the chili. So we're just gonna put some of that over the top. Now, of course, 
If you like, you could put some cheese over the top. You could have a little bit of sour cream if you want to carry that. Uh, anything that you like, a little bit of guacamole on there as well. But just for something really, really simple, quick and easy to cook on the bank for a group of you. You might want a couple of these yourself. There might be three, four, six, eight of you. You can cook this for everybody.